Look at all these explosions. <laughs> kaboom! Kaboom! <laughs> Today, everyone, we're gonna talk about the Mortar Monkey, because apparently we love explosion galore here. <laughs> but all jokes aside, today we're gonna talk about the Mortar Monkey and what it can bring to your next game. Mortar, I absolutely love it because I like explosions. So Mortar is one big explosion. As always, we're gonna focus on the tier fours as well as the tier fives. Starting with the big one, the biggest one, artillery, and the next one. As always, make sure to read the comments as well, because I might forget something, and if I do, the comments will be there to rescue us. So starting things off, we start with the big one. To get to the big one, you have to get bigger blast, balloon buster, shell shock, and then bigger one, or the big one. It will set you back roughly 9,000 cash to get the big one all the way on top. This hard mode, keep that in mind. And it would just do one a massive explosion. As you can see, it does a massive explosion. You can increase this guy with a faster firing and rapid firing or increase accuracy and birdie stuff. Increase and reload speed makes it just shoot faster, which we can demonstrate. Keep in mind, this is the normal version. So basically, this one shoots one extra time between every shot approximately. We'll make this, for example, way easier to kill. But if that's not your cup of tea, you can always just go for a bigger one and increase accuracy. Which does have its perks, as you can see. For the next little piece of resistance, you have the biggest one. Which is even a bigger explosion. Which will set you back another 39 as you can see it still fires extremely slow so you can get the rapid fire or the burning stuff rapid fire as we know increases the fire rate but you're not here for that you want to see the raw power here is a raw power we need more more but what is a fun upgrade well you can go faster reload which will basically shoot let you shoot faster or you can just increase the accuracy with burning stuff for the next one, my personal favorite, Mr. Artillery Battery. Unlock this amazing mortar. You have to go faster reload, rapid reload, heavy shells, and then, of course, the artillery battery. It will set you back 7,500 as well as you will get an ability, which is just rapid rain down hell, as you can see on screen right now. Normal fire rate, fire rate with an ability hit. So by default, this is the fire rate. You can upgrade with bigger blast and bloom buster. Bloom buster being, of course, having more layers at once and the bigger blast increasing the blast radius of the shell. Accuracy on burning stuff. We know what burning stuff do. does. So the bigger explosion will make this into this. Turning it into a burning thing, it will do this. But don't forget, we still have the amazing ability to just dump on our enemies. For the next tier, of course, we're gonna go with the pop and away. This is the normal fire rate. This is this one's fire rate. This one also has an ability to its name. It's called the Doom of Dooms. It gets explosions all over the map, which is ridiculous. Not just increasing the fire rate. No, no, no. It's just bombarding the entire map. This character will set you back another 33 thousand and a half cash but you do get something in return you can always get the bigger blast bloom buster accuracy and burning stuff on it the bigger blast of course helping you out with more dps as well as helping you pop some more of those juicy layers but if that's not your cup of tea don't be worried we can always flame the our enemies for the next one on our list it's shattering shell aka bottom path to unlock this one you need to increase an in accuracy burning star signal flare as well as shattering shell setting you back roughly 13 000 to 14 000 cash this beast will make sure it will make sure fortify balloons are no biggie as you can see it will not kill it but it will just get rid of that so it's not fortified anymore so for your information, fortified, there we go, easy peasy, getting rid of it, 
doing a, a little bit of damage not insane amounts of damage so of course the upgrades you have on it it's bigger blast bloom buster reload and rapid reload bigger blast and bloom buster will basically give you a bigger radius of explosions and a better layer popificator of doom the reload just makes you go shoot give you faster just look at now bum 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 just like twice as fast ish i don't want to measure it the bigger blast you can see the blast currently now the blast is just bigger and it's stronger nothing special for the next one we have the blunification of doom with default let's get this omg out of the mix and let's burn it to the ground as we like to do on this here channel As expected, it just made short work out of it. Why do we have not talked about camo yet? Well, by default, it cannot see camo. You upgrade to the bigger shell, it cannot see camo. Get the rapid reload, it still can't see camo. So what makes you be able to see camo? Well, it's actually called signal flare, which makes either kills or decamify your balloons, as you can see on screen right now. However, why we didn't talk about it at the start is mainly because, well, if you go for any top ones, you don't have the camo detection one. You can only get to the tier 2 version, so only if you run bottom path, you will be able to see camo. But there is no problem with that, because if you have an artillery, and you just place a village with camo detection on it, this now can see camo, and it will just take care of the camo. Going back to all the different tiers now. So we have the biggest one, the pop aware and the fancy name of Cater of Doom, which I cannot pronounce apparently. The biggest one will set back roughly 39,000, where will set you back around 34,500, and this one will set you back 43,000. And which one would, is good for your next game? Well, it really depends on what you need it for, because there is so many specializations. Do you need DPS? Do you need just a big AOE attack? Or do you need something that will make sure the, the, the MOABs will just be destroyed without any problems? But the other question is, how do I run these? Well, going for the big biggest one it really depends on the way it goes because it has a very slow fire rate if i need the more fire rate i will go for a more fire rate of course but otherwise if there is just for extra support i will always go for the burny stuff because it will just demolish basically anything you put in its way when it comes to different type of balloons rushes all that kind of stuff it will just burn it to the ground without any problems other than that you can always just get the pop aware and how do I run this one? Well, it's very easy. Always depends on what you're going to use it for. If we're going to put it in this small area, of course, I don't really need any bigger blast or bloom buster. I could just go for accuracy and bloom bust or burny stuff, I mean, which will just make this an entire death zone with setting everything on fire. But if I just want to fold your DPS, we can go bloom buster, making sure nothing can, pa can pass this area. Very cool. When it comes to the big mortarificator of doom, this one i do have a specific way of running it i always run this with faster reload and you're probably wondering Marta, why faster reload well i mainly if i use this one it's for moabs and uh, fortified moabs and all that kind of stuff so the faster it can take off those better brackets faster other stuff can destroy the moab i would run faster reload so it fires faster and gets rid of those things way faster i know you can get the bigger blast and bloom buster and it also does more damage but the faster reload in my opinion just works better so what can you use for your next game well it's quite easy to say all of them are pretty darn viable but it just depends on what you need in your strategy like we said if you need fast dps go for the pop of the wire if you need just an aoe attack which you can just place and just get this entire section blocked off with deep damage well get, get the big one or the biggest one if you just need something for moab destination just get the shattering shell or the balloon thing catered of doom and these are the tier 5 ones the tier 4 ones are a little bit less powerful a little bit can only have the same purpose so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff helps me helps the channel and most importantly it shows me that you guys want to see some more amazing balloons content with that being said everyone i'll see you in the next one and make sure to check the comments peace out